because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber cycle victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Oh, man, that's, that is insensitive. I am so sorry, where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Anywho. on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better! What's got you so antsy? Hang on, watch this. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. Celsius, what else is included? Comprehensive health coverage, including.
including the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. Damn. Shit got dark pretty quick. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. You're welcome. Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. Dunno, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. We are near it. Seems our to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. Yep. Don't gotta tell me. We're not on our way to some party, Jack. We're about to pull a major heist. At our Sokka. For real, V? See me as that shallow. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. How's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? I want more Aristotle. 
Fuck off, both. Yeah. Okay, tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. Shit's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Hannah. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department. Welcome to Compeki Papers Plaza. are for the flathead. No swear. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home, Uh, <clears throat> sir? <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? I don't intend to explain myself to you or anyone else. Actually, we have rules, see? Ah, you are here to see Taki-san, am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Yo, 
Greetings and welcome to Konpeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Taki-san of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Taki-san is expecting you, no? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cybercycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. To seduce the world's most expensive model. I did not seduce her. Shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. Going upstairs. And when I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Good! Cause this affects them too. It'll slap everyone in the face. Barkeep's right. You've had your fill for today. Hmm. Guess so. Besides, what's a man supposed to do? I'm gonna get some sleep. Evening. Evening. What can I get you, baby? Let's see what you got. Of course.
About time. тестировали эту технику на наших. Про заражение под Новоиркутском они брали, про аварию на Бакунинской три брали. Они всегда... Мы в нашей комнате. Довольно снази. Ты думаешь, мы не будем спать на ночь? Хороший выбор, Бог. Не выбрал его для сназ. Оффер быстрый доступ к дверям и серверам. Да, да, я помню. Теперь ты взрываешь флатхед и найдешь шафт вход. Звучит просто? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. We're supposed to look for the shaft. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. Mierda, little conk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People will start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try, and that is all I can promise you. Okay, Flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds it. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere. But no bug. Got a hitch. Am I the only what one now? who just gets puke and used to in my way? Okay, got the a distractor. Justice in it? Uh, let's see what's on the subnet. All right, on it. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality that. controller. Who? Pray, yeah. Know? Sick the flathead on it. Filthy rich. Has that naughty look in his eye? He's staying in the penthouse. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. Hey, Bug, it worked. Oh, Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting.
okay? Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize him. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Flathead into the chair, V. Jack in. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing, it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. What do you think? Why'd you give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steel dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yorinobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? Poser with court protection. 
<laughs> and the name too, Steel Fucking Dragons. Oh man, a wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich, then got bored of playing tough. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one of mine? Uh... Slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. Pretty smooth, right? Right? Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. Uh, there's the awkward silence. You, uh, Wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure as shit better than being the son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have it back in a sec. And you do your damn job. Looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. Check out that weird-ass lizard. That ain't no lizard. It's an iguana, you twit. No, cause I've seen one before. Bingo! Got some- Got no time for this! No. Jack in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. How much longer, T? 
Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. I'm guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. Fuck, too late. Your Nobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. You're fucking kidding! No! Inside it now! We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Smasher. Bodyguard. Wars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bucko, we got incoming. Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass-licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof.
ことも許す必要はない、うTo get us out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. Okay, got something. Window now. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh fuck. Oh no 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 not now. I've been made. Fuck. Pinche dios santo bendito. Just lost key. Fuck. Fucking major leagues. Happy now, Jackie. Shit. Got two guards. Forget trying to pilot this thing. I don't know what I was expecting. Unauthorized access attempt detected. Remain where you are. Security. Gotta get out of here now. Shortly.
Case is damaged. Biochip integrity's it. In Jackie? 86 percent. 86 percent and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's got to slot the relic into your neural port. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's got to do it. Padre, el Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? Don't know. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Hell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. Oh, what I see. Gray, securing the floor. Clear. Understood. Over and out. All clear here, too. If this was a drill, why'd they send in Saka Special Forces? Quietly. Special Forces? In the lobby now. Gonna sweep the building. All floors. The U3 has located the Dweller in a combat bot. Flat him on. Drones have encountered hazards on the penthouse level and opened fire. Your Nobu Arasaka has been back to the premises, here? I repeat. Silence will come in handy. Careful. Security like that. Got it. This way. Did you check the Zen room? Yes. Yeah. All Nothing strange out of the ordinary. Well, the dose is here. 
damaged. Then take a surrender.
What? Zaburo Harasaka. 150 years. And today, of all fucking days, that's like some divine comedy shit. Think all this is funny? Yeah, I do. Your liver could be fucked. Had it coming. <laughs> but she'll be. We'll get out alive. Why, cause you fucking say so? Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling. <laughs> Point him. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet. Please remain calm. Calm! I can't I can't I <laughs> A hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on us. Leave it to me! Ah, I get to just give up! Why does it go, Jack? See? I told you. 
good you with me, kid. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells's condition is critical. Critical? Fuck does that mean? Mr. Wells's external iliac artery has ruptured. Internal hemorrhaging is severe. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be all right. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <sighs> Misty, I know. She always knew. Disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Just give me a sec, will ya? Mr. Wells' remains. Where shall I take them? He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. See in Major Leagues, Jack. Saburo, gripped by despair and shame, 
had resolved to commit seppuku, but then changed his mind at the very last moment. Why? No one knows. From the day he nearly took his own life, Saburo Arasaka has refused to speak about his wartime experience with anyone. He devoted his complete attention to one thing alone. His death. Following the death of his father... He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate network. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? Yeah, he's there. Dead. such luck. Hmm. That's one piece of good news. Good news. Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! I know. And that's why we gotta skip Night City, Dex. We? You're the fixer! Alright, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. New place, new identity. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up.
damn risk it be. Remember our first convo? Yes! Seems I've chosen the, the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. been better. Sure don't look it. I can't! Hey, hey, we're chill! Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. We crawled up your ass. Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Okay. I want it today. Johnny! Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind. Wanna see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. Offer you one piece of advice. For all time's sake, stop being one. Time to bring on the future. Sir, 
fire. Pacifica Scott off, shut down. APC's on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches! Skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Aristotle's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This isn't the Cub Scout, Thompson. Chew it up, spit it out. on the elevator, arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming gold credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. It's grass green, birds fly, the cats eat gnats, do rats shit gnats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy, come on. Evac announcement. Broadcasting across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Get ready. Yes, fucking own it. Unit down. Cheeto 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! Out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cable! Get the rotor spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Oh, love you, Spider. The whole world yeah. loves me. Oh. in on the access point. Slide in.
sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a look. now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fissile material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Hey, Gramps. I know you. died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you weak.人は嘘をつき自分自身を欺くだがシャワは違うシャワは有弁だが彼らは決して嘘をつかない死者の言葉には慎ましさがある始めろ
And you, who are you? Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this. Arasaka-sama, Oto-sama no sasugai hana ezuke mashita. Kono onna de machigai arimasen. Hai. 1時間後には着くかと<音声>くそひどい匂いだ。
use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You... You were at Compeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly! <laughs> outside the surface area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Precious tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Fuck. V? I don't know, Vic. 
My ears are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How is that even possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who? Like, who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V. It's important you get all this. Don't believe an ounce of the horseshit coming from your mouth. Know why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Whatever's happening to me, there's a logical explanation. Gotta be. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Omit a thing. Not one D. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You're Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, or Place it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Well, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? 
Tell me, please. Thick. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man! The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! <laughs> Who you work for? Start talking! See 
You never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head, only thing that would fix this. Hear me, bitch. A bullet to the fucking brain! Jabra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Can't right now. Fairly hanging in there as it is. You may recall that I saved your life. I needed you to return the favor. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? 
You must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Tom's diner. I am waiting. Hey! Hey! Kaboom! Saw you sealed my chest door! An explosion of taste! This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. Jackie, ah. Uh, this is so stupid. The report suggests coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin. You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker.
could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. 
And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumbles and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Leave me the fuck alone! You don't need to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want from me? Are you still upset about the other night? You tried to kill me! Well, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Fuck off, you psychopath! Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Let's get out of here. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
Hey, look. No. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Interesting.
Now what? Patience is a virtue. Oh. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there.
This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. So you are never gonna guess what happened. Dex had a hit put on me. Took a bullet, I died, I came back. All good until I realized I had a time bomb wedged in my brain. Oh, it feels like a goddamn movie plot. <laughs> I got no idea what happened. happen to you where you are but hang tough chica all right uh, and i met johnny silverhand long story doubt you two get along always could smell bullshit a mile off Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Go home! 
find you a home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Children's models are worth nothing. Okay, okay. Maybe a co processor. Yes, I'll get it. Ready? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me.
heard you home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. How's things? Darling. Get you anything? Thanks, Claire. No problem. Chuma mind on the spot on the menu here. A chulo bowl this with the bun, bun, I hope. Seen it yourself. Can't Remember complain. Remember drink? The recipe? Folks always get vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. How's the afterlife? Working here, I mean. No real complaints. Fights are rare. Really A jacking rolls. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. Need your she services. Right through you. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jumping too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, Tipa. Multiple bells ringing, B. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me Wanna up. Wanna go right through all this? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside Arasaka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm hmm See? Uh-huh. And if I don't have the scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day. No, more like come back when you do. Them's the breaks. Mm-hmm. Then, see ya. Soon. You know where to find me.
have anything? Hang on just a little longer, you. Forget something? Rippers on the way. Oh, oh, the luck. Why aren't we at the hospital? We might not come after us. Ah, fuck. Say something, Shem. Anything. What do you mean you're not coming? You're coming, dog. You'll be here in five minutes better. Fuck! Ah. In a hurry or something?
anyone here? Not funny.
so hello <laughs> Shoot! I'm a doctor. I'm not part of the gang. 
I know. You're Lucy Thackeray. Uh, text blacked out again. Piece of shit. And you are? V, your brother sent me to get you out of here. Bertie? Okay. Okay, just a moment. What's with him? Any second now, more of those Borg freaks could show. They shot him. Almost got him sorted out, but the bleeding started again. Look, we don't have time for this. The they've got in here belongs in a scrapyard. We got a Delta, now. Since you're still here, run a scan on him. You can't be serious. Jesus, I see your implants. Scan him. No. I'm sorry? Enough of this shit. We don't have time. He's gone. Of course. Shouldn't have expected anything from someone like you. Tell me, do you feel anything at all when you kill someone? Sorry. You gotta understand. I'm here to protect you. Protect me? Nobody's gonna pay you for killing him. Think whatever you want about me, but come on, please. Fine. After you. Close to me, head down. Come on, just a little farther. Your ride, get in. Since we talk, since when Jackie passed away, call in to offer my condolences.
offer your condolences. Ay, Jesucristo, you lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? One line, one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry, he's symbolic. Look for something in his garage, his past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, we. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I debate. Ivy. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. 
I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well... You got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more.
better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. I understand. Take care of yourself, Misty. Yeah. You too, V. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few Maybe. glasses. De acuerdo. V, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. 
It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. They were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reached for fortune and fame. No fear in his eyes or heart. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you, but I really can't accept this. I hope you can understand. Cuídate, B. It's so, so good to see you. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Campos, I'm torn up. Poured you another? Hey, you! Oh, Jaquito. Have a drink with us. Listening's a skill, you know. To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, chica! <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V.
Hey, Rogue. Got the scratch. Got the cred for the Hellman job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flip me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often, determination like yours. 
Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Think you can track him down? Getting a mark on him ought to be easy. Actually grabbing him? Another story entirely. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But... Right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nab and Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Wise Pan Am gotta help me. I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Yeah. 
Hang on just a little longer, Chu. Hey, what is this? on the way. <laughs> Come on.
thought you killed him. Me too. to you? It's okay. Trust me. Get out of here. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, now you'll be safe.
What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last bite out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? <laughs> Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Come on, man. Not you, too. Sorry. Sorry. the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Open. These stars. That could be. 
Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the Star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. to see the dawn.
Talbot. Talbot opens his eyes in a daze. Pedestrians crowd the rainy streets of White Rock, Colorado. A couple exits a grocery store just as Jonah charges into them, knocking them down, spilling apples and oranges into shimmering puddles. Streetlights illuminate Jonah as he shouts a quick apology and runs into the street. A horn blares, headlights flash, Jonah slides over the hood of a yellow sedan into the path of a cyclist, knocking her down. She clambers to her feet, shouting at him as bullets whip through the air. Glancing over his shoulder, Jonah hard charges through a souvenir shop, breaking mugs and plates, and vaults through the back exit and into an alley, slipping on wet pavement. He springs to his feet and sprints away. Clearing a fence, he leaps, tumbles down a concrete embankment and quickly scrambles to hide behind a collection of garbage bins. As he catches his breath, two assailants in black trench coats rush by him, holding gleaming pistols with silencers. Jonah squints into the darkness after them. Realizing someone wasn't too happy, he decoded their seemingly random sounds broadcast from unknown locations. Spies, he imagines, sending names and coordinates through encrypted signals and pulses for reasons he still hasn't puzzled out. But his superiors pulled him off fast when he had managed to decrypt names of corporations and prominent billionaires. They pulled him off a bit too fast. And so he thought he'd investigate on his own. Not the best idea he'd ever had, but something in him had to know, had to understand why he was ordered to stay away from these cryptic messages that contain the names of people who would sometimes disappear. To him, this seemed somehow related to human trafficking. But Dean, Dean didn't fit the pattern. He wasn't like the others who had disappeared. He was loud and outspoken and blaming the government for everything that had happened to his students. He needed to find the high school teacher before these henchmen did. Talbot opens his eyes in a daze, sitting in a wooden chair, slowly returning from a journey half remembered. He remembers the flowers and luminous colors, blue and purple, glowing and dripping with a strange nectar-like fluid. The strange blue and purple flowers from another world. He heaves a groggy sigh and isn't sure if he traveled at the speed of thought to defy time and experience a moment from the future or if it was all some elaborate fantasy put together by his imagination with an unremembered assortment of past memories. Either way, it felt real and that for the time being was enough. Talbot glances at the poppy in his hand. Incredible how a flower, a single flower, can take you on such a journey. Through realms within, and possible realms without. Through realms unknown. You're back, Mr. Grimes. Talbot turns with a start to face Junius, an investor in the company. He despised everything about this man. How he presented himself in his black suit and waxed mustache. How he looked at him. How he had to justify everything he wanted to do with him and his brethren in terms of profit. What are you doing here? We need your, how shall I say, expertise to help us collect samples in a remote location in Northern Africa. I'm afraid I'm on another assignment, but I'm sure you're able to send in the other chemists. We have. And? They disappeared, along with several other expeditions we've sent in. Talbot turned away, taking in a basement filled with black smoke and the drowsy scent of opium, urine, sweat, and vomit. The den was lined with two rows of straw mattress beds, accompanied by little tables with nut oil lamps to heat up the opium before placing it into a pipe as long as a rifle. Men groan and grin with their eyes shut. One man stares at Talbot and laughs slowly and heavily with a pipe to his lips. Every time he pulls at the burning opium pellet, there is a hellish frying sound. Junius clears his throat, 
Understand, Mr. Grimes, there is no assignment more critical for the company than this one. And by critical, Talbot understands he means profitable.
Ha 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 ha!